the very first thing you'll do is you'll import the library called argparse in Python. And the next thing you'll do is you'll declare an actual parser object. So we'll do parser gets argparse dot argument parser. And then um, you don't really need to supply any parameters here, but you can. Uh, in my case, I will define a description and we'll call this a test adder. And now what you'll do is you'll also define um, arguments to include. So you can do add argument, and this is where you will specify the flag for that specific argument. So I'll do dash x. We'll say that x is of type integer. And the other thing we'll be doing is we can say that it is required um, for our script to run. You can do the same thing and just create a second variable y here that will be required also. And now what you'll do is you will grab the arguments that the parser object will have within it by doing the following. You will do args gets parser dot and then um, parse args, pretty self-explanatory. And finally, uh, you can actually get the values for these specific arguments as follows. So you do args, and this is a dictionary, so you can just reference the um, parameters by calling their names like that. And then y would be equivalent to args dot y. And now finally, uh, what we have is the following where we can do some logic. And in this case, I'll just say print string x plus string y is string x plus y. And so this is all the logic inside of our Python script. And so now what we're going to do is inside of a terminal window, in this case uh, I'm in using Windows, I've navigated to the root directory of my project. Uh, I will do the following where I can just say pi and then the name of this script, which in my case is test.py. And then when you'll note when I run this is that I get an error because I haven't supplied required arguments to my actual uh, script. So what I can do to resolve this is uh, add in those flags. So dash x and I'll say one and then I'll do dash y and I'll say y is two. And now we can see that one plus two is three using the argument parsing uh, library of Python. And so that's gonna wrap things up for this introductory video. Hope that you guys find it useful and thank you all for watching.